following is a presentation of TFNN, living a primal lifestyle. Now, your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle. It's Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. How's it going? Hi, everybody. Hey, we're here, folks, and it's a beautiful day in downtown Clearwater. You know, it's 76 degrees here. The sun is Perfect. out. Uh, yeah, it feels like a nice spring day, and we're and still in winter here. So, uh, you know, a lot of things are happening all around the nation with the weather. It's crazy. I mean, extreme weather. Yeah, it it's is. going on. I'm telling you. I hope okay. this is that was our last cold snap. I mean, it was cold last weekend. Yeah, it was here for cold for us. You guys up north, a uh, different story. Mm -hmm. I want to start uh, with a few things with, with the news. Real interesting uh, thing, and I put this in my newsletter, I think, last, last time. Yeah, about scientists creating a new ear using 3D uh, printing and living cell injections. So, Cornell uh, University researchers. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I mean, uh, this stuff is really happening. So imagine that, uh, uh, you know, later on, this is ra rather simple in the, in the scheme of things. When you Yeah, talk. it says, printing out body parts. Cornell University researchers show it's possible by creating a replacement ear using a 3D printer and injections of the living cells. Now, I want to make a comment on that. Okay. Are you familiar, those of us kind of that work in energy medicine, uh, have you ever heard of the phantom leaf? Yes. If you look at yes. cur Curlian photography, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can take a leaf that's missing part of the leaf, and yet the energetic signature or the shape of yeah. the missing leaf. Or they say there's a missing limb, you know. Many times amputees yeah, they actually will feel it. They'll feel the limb yeah. even though it's gone. That's well, because really the blueprint for the body is not just this physical body. It's and, you know, in the, the energetic an interesting body. thing, too, is that this doesn't just happen to living things. If you take uh, a let's say, a, uh, um, uh, something like that's magnetic, like, uh, what would you call, uh, I just can't think of the word all of a sudden, a, uh, a magnet. Right. Okay. okay. You take a magnet and you chop it in half. Now, you don't have two different ends with north and south pole. You have two new magnets. In right. fact, with and a magnet... And they create their balance with both. Exactly. So you can chop that magnet into all different parts, and they're all little magnets. It's amazing. Right. Complete holes. Complete holes. It's kind of a holographic thing. Exactly. So you know, that's pretty neat. Every piece is a piece of the whole. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Uh, article here in the newspaper today was that uh, too much calcium can kill you. Yeah, I, that, that came out kind of before Christmas. And, uh -huh. um, you know, particularly with women, this is getting to be a big issue. And then you got to go look back to how, you know, mainstream medicine and so forth is, you know, has, has been selling these supplements. Oh, osteoporosis and you need to take calcium and I'm going to tell you that osteoporosis is not a calcium deficiency disease. Right. It could be part of the player is maybe calcium misplacement. Yeah. Calcium is no longer in the bones. It's going to the heart creating calcified aorta. Yeah, it's and, going and to it's, the eyes creating Yeah and diet cataracts. has a big role in this because you know when you're eating high acid foods like grains and meat then that acid really, uh, and, and because really the, the point I'm trying to make is that when you're eating uh, grains, grains are incomplete, mm -hmm. and your body needs uh, certain vitamins and minerals to digest them. And it pulls and, it out of your bones, and it pulls, pulls it, it out, out of your, your soft bones. tissue. So a lot of the people who have bo bone problems, uh, and especially women, uh, this is happening because we're, uh, we're using grains as a staple. So using grains just a little bit here and there, not too bad. Once a week you have a piece of bread, not a big deal. But if you use it every single day with the cereals and the grains and the pasta and everything we've been eating, it's, it's a really a dramatic uh, change that's happening in your body. So that's part of the problem. The other part is the vitamin D, of course, right? Right. Well, there's lots of things that are involved in healthy bones, calcium, mm -hmm. vitamin D, and vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is the fat-soluble vitamin. Do you notice that it's all the fat-soluble vitamins that are really the important vitamins? Yeah. And those are not things you really get from plants. I mean, you actually get them from plants after they're eaten by the animal. Yeah, and exactly. They're the but I, I want to go back to this. We are not in any way saying that calcium is not important. It's extremely important. Yeah. But what we're finding out is that in the supplement forms that many of us are going to, you know, Sam's Club and buying the super-duper bottle of calcium, and women are just in fear that if they don't get enough calcium, they're going to get the osteoporosis. I'm going to tell you. You know, I'd yeah. rather see you getting some K2, getting out in the sun, getting some vitamin D, doing some 
walking and doing some squats and doing some lunges and doing some, you know, yeah, weight bearing strong, exercises. Weight bearing is, exercise is the best thing you can do for yeah. bone. So there's a real combination of things that to, for you to stay healthy. And, uh, you know, this article kind of brings it out that calcium is just one of those things. And uh, so we're depleting our bodies of calcium by the food that we eat. Because and, and that's what that's the key, key thing. What this article says is too much calcium can kill you. Mm -hmm. what, what the research is showing is that women are and, and men are that, ODing but, on the supplements. They're over, ODing on the calcium carbonate, the rock calcium that's not easily absorbed. Remember, the plants, the green plants, and then the animals that eat them. But even the green plants go in the dirt and they absorb the minerals and they chelate them so that we can use them. Yeah. When we're eating them in this kind of rough supplement form, that's the problem. And what they're talking about is heart disease, and that's what I'm saying, calcification of the aorta. If you've got too much calcium floating around in your body it can, and with no proper instructions and cofactors to tell it what to do, it can cause havoc and wreak havoc. So uh, don't, don't freak out about your calcium and, and, and get it from you know, cheap calcium supplementation. Look for whole food sources of calcium. We do think calcium is important. I get a lot of my calcium from a supplement I have that's called Polar Men's, uh -huh. which is arctic water okay. and it's loaded i mean a half a teaspoon gives me like i don't know 200 milligrams of calcium it gives me magnesium and potassium okay and they're all interconnected you need all of them to for it to work right exactly right? Yeah. you know I, I add that and then i then i eat you know my grass-fed animals yeah. and i eat a few greens here and there so good stuff there hey i just noticed that doctor was clark with like my name <laughs> a, re a distant <laughs> relative no doubt <laughs> could be so uh, the other thing in here was about the fish oil, uh, and mm -hmm. um, where is that? So you know what? Let's let's talk a little bit about that fish oil because okay. you know you and I. Um, That's uh, what's better for you. The article uh, was stating that krill oil versus fish oil, and what's what's really the difference? And the, pro and the pros and cons. And mm -hmm. you know, for those of you who may or not may not be familiar, krill oil comes from a little crustacean. It's almost like a small uh, a miniature shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. Um, you know, lower on the food chain. Obviously, anytime you can get lower on the food chain, less chance for, um, you know, contamination. contamination yeah. yeah, contamination. Uh, the other benefit to krill oil is it has the very powerful fat-soluble antioxidant called astaxanthin. I am a fan of astaxanthin. Oh, yeah? And astaxanthin is what turns a lobster red when you cook it. It's what makes a shrimp pink when you, when you boil them. Right. Um, and it actually, makes the, the wild salmon, you know, the yeah, real... And, and the, uh, the capsules of, of the krill oil are red. They are, because yeah, they have astaxanthin, orangey, yeah. but guess how much... I, this article was very enlightening to me. Is There's it? only 0.2% of the oil is that. So they have drops of the astaxanthin. Mm -hmm. um, I, this is my position now, and I always tell you guys, please, you know, I'm learning. Everyone's... We're always learning. And, um, but I have moved away from fish oils. Uh, I'm following more Ray Pete's philosophy that... The less polyunsaturated fats mm -hmm. that I get. I mean, if I'm going to have a piece of wild salmon, that's what I'm going to have. But I no longer feel this panic to to get a lot of polyunsaturated fats. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my fats from the healthy foods that we eat: yeah. the egg yolks, the coconut oil, the grass-fed butter with the loaded vitamin A and D. Yeah. And um, and I, I get mine from that too. But I still supplement my, myself with the omega threes. And in fact, I take a full dosage of it. And I, I tried before to. Uh, you know, down my dosage, and I could really feel the difference. Of course, right now I'm in high training. So, right. Well, uh, so yeah, not not to make a big change, but yeah. but I also have a fish oil that I like. Um, it's just the DHA, and it's from algae. Mm -hmm. So it's really low in the food chain. Right. Right. So it's omega three from That's algae. Interesting too. So you know, the the point that I think we want to make is that all fish oils have the potential for rancidity. Yes, no doubt about it. You have and, to keep them refrigerated, and they have to be fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't buy cheap fish oils. Yeah, you have no yeah. idea how old they are, and that is what causes... Yeah, if you, if you go to Walgreens or your uh, local drugstore and you see them on the shelf there, they're not going to be any good because they need to be refrigerated, first mm -hmm. of all. So uh, they don't last that long uh, right. in, in the bottle. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say that the essential fatty acids that we're talking about, uh, they're necessary for the following processes. I just want to go through those. Healthy cell membrane formation. That's mm -hmm. the biggest part right there. Also, hormone production. Mm -hmm. Development and function of the brain and the nervous system. Regulation of blood pressure, liver function, immune and inflammatory responses. Thyroid and adrenal activity. Regulation of blood clotting and uh, breakdown and transport of uh, cholesterol, and it Healthy also supports 
healthy skin and hair. Okay, so, but you know what? If we really wanted to be devil's advocate, mm -hmm. let's go and look at what Dr. Pete says. Okay, yeah, and we, we yeah. should look at the other side of it. Well, I mean, you know, Dr. Ray Pete has all kinds of articles citing the dangers of polyunsaturated fatty acids, mm -hmm. that, that when we store them, we release them, it lowers thyroid function. You know, so well, Nico and I have just agreed to agree that right now we're we're not exactly sure our position on this. this yeah. You know, there's science on both sides. And it, you know, if you take something and you feel better on it, uh, it's uh, it's something that uh, you know I would I, I kind of want to listen to my body at all times. Right now, like I said, I'm training for the Pan Ams. I'm training very hard, and I, I, there's a lot of inflammation from right. just the activity that I'm doing and the stress that my body goes under. Uh, so I really notice the difference. I just cut my dose in half, and uh, for about uh, three weeks. And, and, and you know that might not be a bad idea. Just look at that, and then bring in other anti other anti inflammatories like turmeric and boswellia. Yeah, exactly. Which I do take. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, I'm taking as much anti-inflammatory as I can for sure. Uh, one of the uh, guys, uh, Ken from Philly, was uh, saying, uh, but I don't think I need to uh, refrigerate fish oil. I think you do. I think, it's, uh, you know, you may get it from a health food store that doesn't refrigerate it. When you get home, I would recommend doing it. Mm -hmm. the manufacturers, uh, when they make this, they put it under refrigeration. Uh, you don't have to go, to, you know, you don't have to freeze it or anything, but I, I would recommend definitely to refrigerate it. It keeps a lot longer. If you're going to keep a 30-day supply, by the end of the 30 days, if you got it in the, sh on the shelf, it may be rancid. And believe me, you don't want to take rancid fish oil. There's, well, you know, that's what we're talking about. Remember, even fish oils, omega-3s and 6s, are like the seed oils. Yes. And you know how we feel about seed oils. I'm sure everybody understands that. They go rancid. They create free radical damage in yeah. the body. Well, fish oils are they're PUFAs. You yeah. know, they're polyunsaturated fatty acids. They begin going rancid, even with the rosemary and the vitamin E over time. You know, I even tell people, when I was really suggesting higher doses of fish oil, you know, I was telling people, buy the smallest bottle possible. You know, like the, day the Carlson's, the Carlson's yeah. liquid. I mean, because I'm just like, eat, take a teaspoon of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, so, in fact, there's companies that uh, ship them for like 90 days, and they ship them uh, in dry ice. Yeah. But the ones that, uh, like I get them from a supplier that just has a th uh, 30 days, uh, so 30 days, if it's being shipped out and it's uh, without the refrigerator for a couple of days, no problem. But uh, after a week or two, I would recommend definitely you got to do it. It's it's a great anti-inflammatory. So for sure. and so what we just went over, just real recap before we get to the break. Yes. Um, you know he went over that the importance of essential fatty acids, and that's kind of been an established science scientific basis. But then there's the scientists on the other side, and we love Ray Pete's work. And, he, and and you go to his website, raypeat.com, go to articles and start looking at polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs, and see how that research was proven flawed, that in fact the same symptoms people get with a essential fatty acid deficiency is actually a B6 yeah. deficiency, yeah. B6. Yeah, and he recommends also taking aspirin if you, if you want to. Well, there's crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. We have to kind of dig through it. I'd like to remind you, on. first of all, that uh, it's 877-927-6648 is a phone number that we uh, would welcome your calls. And my uh, Health Signals newsletter is out, so uh, please uh, pick up that, and uh, you'll find some great articles about s stuff we like to talk about on the show. So we'll be right back, folks, uh, continuing the program. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar, bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the program, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. And please pick up our Health Signals newsletter so you can stay informed on how to stay healthy, wealthy, and wise so you can keep on trading. That's the idea, <laughs> That's folks. That's right. And we have a caller on the line. Uh, his name is Mark, and he's from Maine. So how are you doing today? Uh, in Maine, Mark. Well, just awaiting the next uh, Saturday storm. Yeah, oh, the, the next named storm. Yeah, yeah. Three, <laughs> the, three's the charm, you know. Yeah, no kidding. Days in a row. My goodness. Okay. Uh, but I live. I chose to live here, so I uh, originally from Philadelphia. Oh. I moved up here to get some clean air and water. It is clean up there. It's mm -hmm. beautiful up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's on your mind? Well. I, I'm taking this product called a SIA. Mm -hmm. um, it's a you know it's one of these uh, I don't know uh, things you know multi level things. I'm yeah. familiar I with the SIA product. Yes. Yeah, one of those deals. You know, but my chiropractor has been pushing this for a while, and I relented finally and started using it about three months ago, and it's. It, 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 the only change I made is drinking this stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, I was pretty much not able to exercise, and, uh, the, and now I'm I play basketball a couple times a week with guys. My I'm 55, you know, guys my age, you know. Uh, so, but I you're a young I, man. I was unable to do that for quite some time mm -hmm. for about so, 20 years. So, what are the claims on Asia? Well, it I it. Does uh, the reduct days and um, 
Yeah, Redux signaling. Mm -hmm. Redux signaling, and I actually met the developer of that and saw him at the A4M convention. I've, uh -huh. used, I've, I've bought the product. I, I tend to shy away from those types of companies, but, you know, really what we have to understand is sometimes mm -hmm. wonderful product innovations are brought to market that way. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And so, you know, we can't judge it by that. We can choose to do it, but... Um, it's yeah. actually, when you look at it, it looks like it's basically a, so, a sodium chloride molecule. But right, it's, yeah. It's the way, yeah. the, and you just, it tastes like doing a shot of chlorine water, wouldn't you say, kind of? Yeah, I, I've i tasted worse things, but not yeah. many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's really not that bad. Hey, I'm the type of person, to, you know, if, it's, if I think it's going to do something wonderful for my body, and that's half the problem yeah. with yeah. that, yeah. then I'll, I'll, I'll taste it. But, um, yeah. Uh, they, they've been using it a lot in, in with athletes, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of those volleyball guys from, uh, not Karach Karai, uh, Sinjin Smith. Oh, he's, Sinjin Smith, right. Mm -hmm. he, he's big on it. I, I, they say. I don't, I've never spoken to the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they, they, you know, on their propaganda, they put his name out. A few other people. I, he's the only one I recognized. Yeah. yeah. Well, if it helps you, uh, you know, what the heck. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the science behind that, it's uh, the, the gentleman who um, created it, he was so interesting. I remember at the A4M convention, uh, mm -hmm. I was in this big room, and I think it was towards the end of the thing, and he, you know, he, he's very studious, very, um, you know, kind of a quiet type of scientist guy, yeah. and maybe not as flamboyant as some of the other speakers, and I was really trying to listen to him. Because uh, I'm sure there's very good science behind what he's doing there, and it's so simple. And I really do believe it's all in the salts. Yeah. You know, it's all in the salts, really. I mean, um, well, you know, like a, a product that I believe in is uh, Schussler's Cell Salts, uh -huh. which um, we uh -huh. talk more about that one day. And really what it comes down to when we, when we pass on, we come down to just a very few uh, key mineral compounds. That's really what all life force yeah. is about. And all, all the other stuff happens from that. So I, I kind of have a feeling that this um, process in the ASEA is very helpful for helping get antioxidants and so forth into our cells. So I think it's good science. Yeah. You know, if you want to build it as a business, feel free. If not, oh, not. just enjoy the product. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, there are uh, quite a few uh, companies, multi-level companies like that out there that have some decent products. Yeah. I do subscribe to a couple of them myself. And yeah. I'm not really interested in uh, promoting the products. Yeah, uh, and you neither know. am I. Right? Yeah. And uh, the thing I like about uh, some of these, they're pretty reasonable in price. Yeah, you know, if it's going mm -hmm. to cost me thirty or forty bucks a month to uh, be a little bit healthier and to solve a problem that I have, I'm yeah. going to go for it every time. Yeah, yeah. this is a little steeper. Yeah, is it? yeah, it is. I think it's like sixty dollars a bottle, isn't it? Uh, Thirty-five yeah. a bottle, but I, I go through two or three a month. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does get uh, expensive. So it's kind of like Chisuru type of... Uh, I may not need, is it now that I'm a, a little stable, uh, my carpet dimension, I, I may be able to, you know, do four bottles in a month. Yeah. Thing there, you know. Okay, well, I appreciate well, the call, sure. and, uh, you know, hopefully that storm up yeah. in Elliott, Maine won't hit you too hard. Right, exactly, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for calling, Okay, call, thanks, Mark. Mark. For the info, both of you, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey, very you. interesting. And, uh, I always yeah. good to share information. That's what yeah. we're here for. Exactly, and you want to get into the subjects, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Oh, no. Okay, we'll go into that. Yeah. Just recently, on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF, on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insight subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. 
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed down a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. This is Nico and Paige, Living a Primal Lifestyle. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please pick up our newsletter, Health Signals, a uh, new one coming out next week. Great issue this week. So, I mean, it's full of information you need, and I got some really fantastic recipes coming up in the next one. I mean, some snack stuff that you can take with you because I'm thinking about, uh, you know, my jiu-jitsu tournament coming up. What do I need to take on the plane? Some of the stuff is in there. The nice thing is if people get the newsletter, then the next show, they've read it. They can come in. They can give us comments yeah, exactly. and ask questions. Yeah. So. And then, uh, speaking of questions, uh, we have Mike from Miami on the phone. And Mike, welcome back to the program. Hi, oh, Mike. thanks, Nico. Hi. Hi, Paige. Hi, there. Hi. Uh, you're, Paige, you mentioned uh, Ray Teat uh, and uh, the seed oil. Uh, mm -hmm. And the fact that seed oil is, is probably, it's a, it's a common thread in our diet. It's probably the biggest change that we've made to our diet. 50 years or so definitely it seems to be a commonality yeah uh, it makes sense uh, it makes sense to me uh, I mean if you look what seed oils were used for in the 1950s they were industrial uses only. Paint thinner. yeah <laughs> well, paint thinner. yeah in fact uh, linseed oil is uh, flax seeds yeah so. yeah yeah well the same could be said for fish oils no doubt about it fish yeah. oils uh, WD-40 is made from fish yeah. oil yeah but, Tate, you, you mentioned aspirin and uh, vitamin K. Are you doing that yourself? Uh, well, actually, Nico mentioned the aspirin. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ray Pete is a, is, a, is a fan of aspirin. I'm, I'm still holding my thoughts on that. I mean, it's hard for but, me. Uh, only aspirin uh, with vitamin K. Exactly. You can't be thinning without creating a clotting, correct? 
Right. Is uh, that vitamin K2 or is that the only one available? Do you know? K2. K2, you know, think of um, think of K2 as being uh, the, the one that we're talking about primarily. Mm. I mean, K1 is in a lot of dark greens, but what we're looking for yeah. is the K2. And incidentally, vitamin K2 is the vitamin that Dr. Weston Price did all his research, and he said he called it the X factor, that the healthiest yeah. people in the world. And where do they get it? It comes from the process of rap of the the product that is created when a cow eats rapidly growing grass and so Weston Price's X factor is K2 and you're exactly right if you have you studied Ray Pete's stuff I've read a lot of his stuff and I've read other people that are related that kind of right. I mean, the whole meta, he, metabolic healthy cell respiration dogma that's pretty popular right now that, that's know. I'm very yeah I'm very interested in it I'm very open person I can't say what you know and what's all yeah. right and wrong, but I'm lending, I'm tending to be more that way because of my, you know, as you know, my perspective is that pretty much everyone is hypothyroid by design, unfortunately. Right. And mm -hmm. so... Well, I've, I've read, you know, I've read a lot. Some of it's mm -hmm. very confusing to me, but I, I, I'm digging into it too, and uh, I, yeah. I, I definitely lean towards that also. Uh, it's so contrary to some of the things that we read, but, it uh, but it does make sense. But you know what I like yeah. about it? I like it. It's so simple. You know, I mean, it's getting down to basically, you know, um, good sources of calcium, vitamins A, D, E, and K, the, you know, the fat-soluble vitamins, and, um, and, and salts. You know, I mean, he's, he gets... It. Well, there's not only salt, it's starches yeah. Yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Salt, yeah, simple starches, but, root vegetables, know, things like that. We're going to talk more about Ray Pete, and I hope you'll call us again because, yeah. you know, we're, you know, we're actually saying well, we're kind of coming primal, and I call he's pro, you know, primal. I'm coming from traditional Western price, and then Ray Pete's yeah. kind of in there, sort of in the yeah. middle. Well, when I say primal, I, primal to me means first, yeah. our first original diet. <laughs> it's not the paleo so much. Yeah, I mean, we were probably, maybe even existed before paleo. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, well, I, I, I was shocked some time ago when I did start reading his, his stuff, uh, and I had morning waking temperatures of between 94 and 95 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's what I primarily do in my office, Mike, is, it, is yeah. that every single one of my clients, you know, the first thing, uh, you know, they get a free consult. I'm like, take your temperatures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then come back. But you know, but okay. you're not going to you're not going to raise those temperatures unless you you intake a lot, you know quite a bit of sugar and starch. There's, it's amazing, isn't it? Because yeah. even going too. even going on the thyroid and stuff, it takes a while to raise them. And you're right. And people have this perception that you know you know we're talking. It's kind of contradictory to some of the stuff we're doing. So we're we're telling everybody well, we're you, looking at these different perspectives and we're trying different things. Yeah, and you want to find well, your uh, starches as natural foods, not so much. Uh, I mean, he likes potatoes. I don't, but uh, some of the other starches yeah. uh, are great. As far as I'm concerned, well, I think the whole the whole thing is if your body is respirating healthy and the cells are, are generating oxygen healthy, yeah. that what you put in your body is less important because it's going to burn through it much quicker. And exactly. You know. And yeah. So, so it, the but point it, is, you have to have a healthy body to begin with. Yeah. Do you do the bad right. Do you do the bad breathing? No, I don't go that far. I just, you know, I, like I've I've read so much. I, I it's 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 too much. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, in, the same, I'm in the same boat for a long yeah. time. Yeah, okay. So. Well, thanks a lot for calling, Mike, and right. uh, keep in touch. All right. Take, take care. care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah. Very good call. Uh, yeah, I love, I mean, love when Mike calls. He's very informative himself, and uh, that really uh, is is wonderful. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. one of the other things, you know, and I'm a big uh, reader in anthropology. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, this has always been a passion of mine. In fact, that's how I kind of got into the whole paleo primal thing. And one of the uh, articles I came across was that ancient tooth decay DNA reveals effects of the changing diets. And this is by the University of Aberdeen uh, in Cambridge. Uh, and before you go into the article, yeah. can I just make a yeah, comment? Yeah, sure. Notice how this is news. Mm -hmm. You know, February 17th, 2000. Yeah. Did you know that... Dr. Weston Price did his seminal work, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, in the 1930s. Generation ago. You know, the, the 700 page book. And this is exactly what he said. Yeah. But, you know, his work as a dentist was banned from all dental schools because it basically. Yeah, you well, know, you put the dentist out of business when you start saying, hey, we got healthy teeth. But we now don't, it's kind of coming around here. Yeah. So. so Well, so what they're doing, they're, these researchers extracted DNA from tartar. The, that's the calcified dental 
dental plaque from 34 prehistoric northern European human skeletons and trace the changes in the na nature of oral bacteria from the hunter and gatherers all the way through to the first farmers and to later in the Bronze Age and medieval times. So what they found it's was... A big coverage. That's a big yeah. coverage, yeah. yeah. And so this is one of the largest studies that they did uh, from skeletons. And uh, they've been doing studies like this for quite a long time. But this is a very large one. And uh, this... Uh, well, uh, this is the first record of how our evolution over the last 75,000 uh, years, or 7,500 years, excuse me, has impacted the bacteria we carry with us and, and their importance in our health consequences. Mm -hmm. So oral bacteria in modern man has uh, markedly less diverse than the historic populations, and this is thought to contribute to the chronic oral and other diseases in the post-industrial lifestyles. So... What basically they're saying is that not only were their teeth great, but the rest of their bones, they didn't have cancers and things like diabetes and cancer and all our modern inflammatory diseases that we have today were non-existence before the advent of farming and agriculture. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking simple farming like vegetables, we're talking about the grain farming. When we started right. eating grains, everything changed, folks. And, of course, it, uh, you know, what Mike was uh, uh, saying, Mike from Miami was saying earlier, is that the industrial seed oils, which is... ...just 50 years ago, that's another recent change. Mm -hmm. And also, at the same time, when we had those industrial seed oils, uh, like the Crisco company and like the margarine companies, uh, all at the same time, what was hitting us is the degeneration of the crops, the types of cereals that came out. That's when Kellogg's and Post and all these companies started marketing their products. That's when my mother started buying Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Right. So, you know, we had this whole thing of maybe 7,000 or 10,000 years ago we were going downhill. But then 50 years ago, we really, really took that jump. We took the jump <laughs> off the cliff, folks, I'm telling you. you know, so you can see how this really compounded everything. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm and so the passionate about this. And is in the teeth the of evidence. the ancient ancestors. Yeah. And, you know, they look in the tombs of the Egyptians that mm -hmm. far back. Yes. And they were actually sea grain eaters. Yeah, they certainly were. You know, uh, some people believe maybe we're not real sure where the introduction to grains came. Maybe it wasn't something that originated in this actual maybe yeah. it was off planet well, or something. in fact uh, you know I was uh, listening to some podcasts uh, with uh, Graham Hancock and some other people that were talking about this I know uh, Graham Hancock. yeah he's fantastic cool. and uh, he was talking about a site that's in uh, Turkey and it's called uh, uh, Galepti TP or something like that I'll, I'll have to uh, find the exact spelling of it but uh, it's an ancient site that they've actually DNA it back to 10,000 uh, BC. Okay, so this is 10, 12,000 years ago. They think it was built, built about 12,000 years ago, and it was buried. I mean, buried completely. And a farmer found that he had this stone that was getting in the way, and he started digging around. It happened to be 18 foot tall, and on there were these carvings. Now, they've got about 5% five of, of this whole site, and this is a massive site. And they're kind of like circles of stone that uh, have been carved out and brought into the area and uh, 20 and 40 ton stones. Interesting thing, they found no tools of any kind there. They found no agriculture of any kind. Now, what's on these stone tablets are depictions of wild animals like geese and turkeys and uh, some animals that aren't around now in that area because this was a real crescent plain then and very, uh, you know, uh, uh, they were growing lots of things, but it was all wild. They determined that these people actually were hunter and gatherers. Right. They're so hunter and gatherers, their, their... but no tools. And these monuments are smooth stones. Uh, there's no way you can't make this without some kind of uh, technology. Right. So here we have a culture that was building these things for maybe a thousand or two thousand years that have disappeared, but they don't have tools and they don't uh, grow things. Everything, and, and then they found a whole uh, bunch of bones, thousands and thousands of bones. And this is really gets interesting. They, they uh, 
did DNA studies on the bones. Mm -hmm. So these are bones of wild animals, not domesticated animals, because they can tell whether they're domesticated or not. So here we have animals that they're eating were all wild. So these right. people were definitely hunter and gatherers. They weren't growing anything. They were hunting, and yet they were civilized, and they were building these massive monuments. You know, if you're building monuments, you have to be organized. You have to be really talking to each other. And another interesting thing, no weapons of any kind. So these people were peaceful. Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is really this is why I get passionate about this stuff, folks, because this is this is stuff that is, and they're finding so many different and sites how, all around the world. How old do they think that site is? They they've actually DNA tested it uh, to uh, ten twelve thousand years ago. Right. So ten thousand BC. Right. Before the last ice age, because the last ice age we came out of it about seventy five hundred years ago. Right. Okay, now a related fact to this, I, you know, I uh, listen to a lot of these astrology sites. Uh, one of them is the Suspicious Observer, and he popped something up on the, uh, on the uh, web today about coming into a mini ice age and how uh, the sun produces these flares, and the, these flares are electric, and they hit our atmosphere, and they actually help our atmosphere grow. Mm -hmm. Well, in the last six or seven so years... we're protected by our electromagnetic field. Yeah, and, and because of pollution, of course, it's diminished a little bit. But the reason it's really diminished is, and the reason we're having all these extreme weather events, and he likes to call it extreme weather rather than global warming, is because we've had this six or seven year uh, span of where there's not lots of flares, which feeds our atmosphere, protects us. So we're going into, and the models show that it's very similar to the Dark Ages, which is in like around the 12th, 13th century, which lasted about 300 years when we had the mini ice age. Mini ice age. So he thinks that we're, and there's, you know, one of the things I like about the Suspicious Observer, it's not his opinion. This is uh, facts from observatories, from NASA, from scientists who uh, are working on, on the sun. So, so you've got that story, and then you've got some other people that you hear on your regular te television stations saying we've got global warming. Yeah, well, yeah. we know that's, a, that's, that's, a, know, that's the I'm tax just, thing. That's, a, that's, about, that's the tax uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, what's really going on is that uh, we are going through some changes. But, uh, you know, the data, the scientists are saying that we are actually could be swinging into this in the next decade. Yeah, within this next decade. So Florida saying, property, right? folks. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you, you want to. Yeah, maybe you want to. <laughs> yeah, you want to come down to Florida and buy some property now. In fact, you know, <laughs> Did, the, the, isn't there a trust or something for that? Is yeah, that we right? got a trust. I think uh, Tom's working on that. Yeah, real yeah. estate investment. So see, Tom trust, is way maybe. ahead of the game, folks. <laughs> yeah, you know? So uh, you know, it's important uh, to think about these things, and it's. I think it's very exciting. You know, here's something that's going to be happening to our planet, and it, this is the time we're alive. So, uh, you know, get yourself in shape, get yourself healthy, get yourself, uh, you know, exercising out there so when the changes come, we can handle these things. Right. And that's why I'm passionate about the food that we eat. And get the off exercise. the processed yes. foods, get into yeah. the real foods. Because you're going to be looking for this food. Yeah, and I it's mean, like I'm saying, if we're, you know, it gets back to, you know, I don't want to argue necessarily. I mean, we've got our strong feelings. There's, the truth is somewhere in between. Yeah. But the main thing is everyone needs to get away from processed, packaged Factory yeah. farm, unconscious food. That's our main goal. So yeah, get away well, that way. be as natural as you can. I think that's the, that's real important. Uh, and uh, if we have to live off the land someday again, or if food becomes scarce and uh, becomes expensive, we have to find out ways that we can feed ourselves, and we have to go back to a real. Uh, a different kind of lifestyle that we're you used know, to. We can't be going to the grocery store and picking up things. We may have to get it from our neighbors, from our friends. And, and do the, like, yeah. exchanging, yeah. bartering. And the way you can learn about this, folks, is get our Health Signals newsletter. So, you know, it's only $10 a month. You get two fantastic issues, uh, and you get lots of links to videos and lots of talks. All the stuff I'm passionate about is in there. So please pick that up. And you can still call us at 877-927-6648. And Paige and I, we will be right back. We'll be here. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, 
upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Treve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. That's right, folks. And uh, you can uh, test uh, drive health signals for free for 30 days. And then, of course, if you decide to get it and you're dissatisfied for any reason, you can just uh, opt out any time you want. But uh, I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot of great information about there. You know, we've been talking uh, a lot today about a lot of different things, but I think we really need to kind of summarize what... Why uh, we eat food. Yeah, you know, and what's essential for us and what isn't. And uh, I think what Ray Pete says, too, is that, you know, you don't need a lot of things. I mean, I, I think in the old days when we were maybe hunter and gatherers, uh, maybe you gorge yourself on, on something, but... Uh, perhaps uh, you, you weren't going to eat another week or so. Mm -hmm. But today, you know, if we got the three square meals, and for me it's usually two square meals and a snack, uh, I don't have to eat that much. Right. And uh, I get, uh, you know, from the food that I eat, the little food that I eat, you know, I, I have uh, bacon and eggs for breakfast or sausage and egg for breakfast. For dinner, I have some kind of meat and maybe an avocado and maybe a little salad, maybe uh, some asparagus or something. Uh, and that's really about it. Then, uh, 
You know, I'll have a little honey here and there, and the weekends I'll have a drink. And it's not a lot of food, folks. And, you know, uh, I'm pretty healthy. I feel pretty good. I look pretty good. And I'm doing some great things uh, as I, far as uh, exercise and keeping myself fit. So, absolutely. Uh, you know, I don't think you need a lot of things. But the essential stuff, uh, I think you have to know where it comes from. And we were just talking yeah. about now, whether or not the essential fatty acids really are We do have Kevin acids. on the line okay. from Marina Del Rey. Uh, so let's go to Kevin, Hi, Kevin and sum this up. Kevin, how are you doing today? Doing good. How about you guys? Good. Great. We only got about two minutes or three minutes left. So, uh, what, you want to talk about supplements? Is that yeah? I, I, I was just wondering what you guys think of supplements. Well, I think uh, some of them, uh, you know, to get yourself healthy, I can't think they can be helpful. I think you're re if you're eating great food that comes from animals that eat great food and uh, you know organic vegetables and things like that, then perhaps uh, they're not as essential. Um, the problem that I see in my practice, Kevin, is that a lot of people are running out and buying. Uh, cheap supplements and we've talked about this before in the show that many times there are excipients or fillers that are toxic they're flow agents that the manufacturers use to make the supplements in huge quantities so they can rent the machine time and therefore what we find out is you can google these excipients some of them are magnesium uh, stearate uh, titanium dioxide talc they are known carcinogens and known immune system suppressors so when I have people that come into my office and say I'm taking this 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 and this and I look at them all, I show them energetically how they actually make them weak, yeah. and I encourage them to, let's try and simplify this. Let's look where we can get these things from your foods, yeah, and, then, and, and then we see where maybe they have a, a deficiency, and we try and find a couple key Yeah, ones. if you spend your money on some really good food and find some great, you know, do your research uh, and find great food sources, you know, uh, uh, animals that are being fed naturally, uh, get to know your farmers, and buy organic, then, mm -hmm. you know, that money is very well spent. Then if you feel like you need to supplement something, then look for the great sources of those, too. And uh, I find mm -hmm. that uh, my budget hasn't really changed that much from years ago when I didn't do this. Right. And, Kevin, if you would, you know, if you would like to review that, you can uh, email me, and I'll be glad to go over your supplements. And Page try at tfnn.com. Mm -hmm. And okay. maybe see if we couldn't help you figure out, well, instead of taking that, why don't you just eat this? And then there may be some things based on certain things that you have. And we have testing that we can do, too. But I'd be glad to help you. Yeah. I take some supplements because I'm 68 years old. And mm -hmm. I, I, you know, and started... And I take supplements, too. Yeah. Yes, uh, so. I'm just saying that a and lot of people... you're not that old. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, a, a lot of people do take too many supplements. And I use only whole food-based supplements, basically, in my practice. I call them foods and capsules. I'm looking for something that this person needs. I pick up an energetic, you know, kind of funk in a certain area of their body. You know, for example, my touch in the thyroid area, and I'll give them a, a kelp yeah. dull space supplement. We're running out of time here. Uh, Kevin, I uh, hope we've answered some questions, but you're always welcome to come back, and uh, we'll be back next week. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Appreciate that. Folks, that wraps it up today, and, uh, you know, we're going to be, well, in fact, I have a guest, uh, Wendy Schultz from Go, right. Go Paleo, Paleo next week. She's going to be in our studio here. We'll be so. all cozy. Yeah, we sure will. So, uh, you know, we'll see you next week, folks, and uh, eat healthy, please. Be safe, be healthy. Take care.